go as the Giants get set to match up with the Houston Texans. Aldrich Rosas, the Giants kicker, ready to go. And here we go from MetLife Stadium. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. fake here on first down catch here left side Thomas and he takes us up to the 40 yard line before being corralled the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup when you see zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage now a first carry for Lamar Miller and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45 Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down, here's Watson. Dumps it complete to Miller. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on his <laughs> ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Dance into his left. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A gain of 32 that time. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after him. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. him only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is... You run get him on the ground quickly after the catch. <laughs> oh, Lee. Times, he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of the leg? And he gets into the end zone. What? Touchdown, Houston. Not in the Miller taking it in. And the Texans take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. I got you so it's a um quarterback. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Oh, it looked like he stole. <laughs> they ain't call that. The back line the oh, man. I thought you stole. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their 25 yard line. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Manning to throw on second down. Under a half and down he goes. Zach coming in. In from his linebacker spot, he's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Working from the gun, Manning. And 
took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball what? drops incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about ah. the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And not his best effort there. Is this hey, one's going to be spotted like, down yeah, just outside that of been a the good key. yard line? <laughs> and now out comes Houston. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Watson hands this to Foreman. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That burst good for 20 and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. The ball comes out, oh. but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule, where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. His first catch there, good for 10 we're yards we're and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage. And he can't find anywhere to go, <laughs> and he goes down. Mm. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. And they'll come up looking to keep this drop. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Hell yeah, yeah. A shotgun snap for Watson. And the pressure gets to him again. <laughs> Second game, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Oh. Gonna need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? From the gun, here's Watson. Flush to his right. And they'll bring him down at the what? It caught it? line. It's a gain of 11, but they're Funny still drop, well short. It's fourth down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention. I got to go because on this Now you're in scramble drill, so everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, "Hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake." Because the point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play he fought, action here. He fought, he fought, he He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's inside the 45. Touchdown, Giants. I saw it. Odell Beckham, 83 yards. And the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> quickly here for six points. I saw it. 
Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? And you execute really well. I missed that field goal. Fuck me. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. Yeah, yeah, pushing the ball there. Got him. I saw it. I'm looking at him and Shepard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Shepard for the own do on a fade. Rosas now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails I mean, a over peak, the man. end line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time and they're Dang. up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to Dang. ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not I'm trying to, I've ever met. Yeah, I'm trying to knock him and all. You look at him, could get him good, boy. They gonna Again, spin him. Thirty-two <laughs> that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's gonna end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Back to throw. Give me that. Give me that. I needed that. Picked up by Janoris Jones. <coughs> That'll return. <coughs> Stop right around the twenty-five. Let's go. Well, while we have a second here, how about we get bold and make a couple Super Bowl predictions? Wow. Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the spot. Just more fodder for the angry people. What do you think? Who's going to win it? Who's going to be the MVP? Well, my prediction for this one is the New England Patriots win the football game. They win it 32 to 30. The MVP, the McCourty twins, Jason and Devin. They both get two interceptions in like And instead of splitting the trophy... <laughs> They wrestle for it right there in the 50-yard line post-game because, you know, sibling rivalries, one always wants the upper hand. Okay, that's bold. I'll go Rams on a Greg Zerline 44-yarder from the right hash as time expires. 44, MVP, that's nothing for Todd, him. MVP Todd Gurley, two touchdowns, one catching, one rushing. I like it. There you, you, don't like, you don't like the McCourty thing, though. No, I do like that. <laughs> that happens. You're Nostradamus. There you go. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Yeah, yeah. Throwing on first down yeah. is Manning. Escaping the pressure right. And he oh. can't get rid of it. He's taken down. JJ Watt uh, in there to bring him down. Yeah, for yeah. Loss of seven. That's what they need. Things like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice oh, game on the hell, previous yeah. play. Gave about half the yardage back on the that nigga sack. beast. Excellent pressure up front. That nigga won rookie of the year. Down he goes. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe oh. gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. There's some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Oh, Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this timeout. I saw that it's hit. Long. It's Manning. It's caught, Shepard. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Give him 30 yards there. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball yeah. downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. And this is caught. And that one results in 35 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation I'll for him, it. as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not get streaking to work on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. 
They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Here we go now. Three, 19. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Oh. Incomplete. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this right, battle. Right, yeah, that's where the down. physicality pays off. A nice job forcing okay. the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Third down and goal now, and this Houston defense not backing down. They'll look for one more stop. They'll come out in the pistol, trying to punch it in, Stewart. And he'll go backwards, losing ah. yardage to the five. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. And they might think about going for it here, but it's still just the second quarter. Take the three points, tell the defense you believe in them, and let them get the ball back for you. A good deal bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over seconds. here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you seconds. think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Trying to Give me that pick. The interception from the last oh. drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Well, the upcoming Super Bowl, so many storylines, but one that obviously grabs you. Sean McVay just turned 33 January 24th. Youngest coach ever to take a team to the Super Bowl. Double that age for Bill Belichick, who's 66. And Charles, that's the largest gap between coaches in Super Bowl history. Yeah, and when you think about it, obviously the age comes into play. Oh. To me, it's more the experience. The number of times that the Patriots have gone to the, the Super Bowl, Bowl with Belichick leading them I like that. versus Sean McVay's Do first time in the Super Bowl leading the Rams. Will that game experience come into play at all? But I do like this about Sean McVay. Raised in the game, raised up through the NFL system, no matter what he might be. Bro, I, Remember his grandfather well, was a head a coach and a GM in the league. He gets it. He understands. I highly expect the moment to be just fine for him and not too big. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Flushed out right. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. And with just four <laughs> seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. But you better think I'm true. So from the 36 now, uh. first and ten. Here's Foreman, and he'll be taken down at the 34. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It'll be a 51-yard attempt. He made it. there and able to put this one through. Made it. First Old half cap. in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Again, it's Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now Saquon Barkley, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now Manning. He finds back and complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. This is my play right here, bro. Here's Fuck! He's gonna be taken down. Damn it, bro. I'll play. Yank that bitch. You got lucky. Wow. Wow. Ah. In there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Zebra, zebra, zebra. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, I'm trying to get this fast, to too. The goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. Oh, that's a no hole, bro. I have a little touchdown, I do. Take this down inside the Let's go. I needed that, boy. I know you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down the field on that. Sets them up beautifully, already in the red zone. Oh, yeah. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Zebra, zebra. Go, 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 go. So after the INT, it's Manning to Barkley on the check down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. <laughs> Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. How about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine too. That's one of the oh. to get it to Beckham and it's intercepted. <laughs> he caught it. Hey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He read that back. He read it good too. Like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, <laughs> chances are it good, be boy. I'm gonna hit that nigga on the middle. This one's going the other way. Here's why no. underneath for Miller. Get Room here to run. Get and he's brought down, but not before get they get it across the 20 yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change. Got the tackle. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. That's good for a Texan hey. first down, a 12-yard pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first down, Watson. 
Throw left side complete. It's Thomas. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. Out of the gun, Watson. Griffin's got a middle of the field. Well, he's got a palm on it. tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. On first and 10, Watson. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Here's Watson now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Watson now to throw. Steps away to his left. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Watson on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get yeah. in there and knock it away. It's always Jet a battle. Right. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you get the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Oh. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Texas you passing game in right now, by. picking up another first. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. To the air yet again, Watson. His pass caught at the four. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he <laughs> caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up the oh, down. He caught, oh, I thought he caught it. Defensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity. <laughs> I thought he caught it. Right right now, to stop them and get it. to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunity. Let's go! I like that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. So they get the I needed that. I wonder now, is that going to be enough? I needed that. I got to mark this down the field now. They're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction. All the oh. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Jadevian Clowney coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. Manning the throw on second down. He's going to let this one go for Latimer. They've got his man complete. Wrap it all. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big time play here, there here. for the G Man. 41 yards. I need that. Manning now on first down. He'll let it go deep for Beck. Oh! This is That was a late hit. Oh, that was a late hit away. But boy. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. This time, the extra point up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Rosas now to kick this one away. Boy. And 
and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchdown. I don't know what happened that play. And the tax had set to come onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now? Score oh, all the play out of them. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Uh -huh. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the game. Hell no. He was really not down. low, man. Now the Giants will stop here as they take what? a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and ten at the 38. There we go. Now a first down throw. Watson throwing right side. That's complete to Marius Thomas. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A pickup of 11 at the Texans first down. They gonna come out to the wire, like bro. I swear to you. Receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. From the gun, Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, Using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Over the middle. Oh. That's Griffin. Good. Another nice yeah. gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... No, what is it? He blocked for you to hit, boy. Texans touchdown. He holded that block. He holded that block. He scored on the ground and through the air. Dang it. Texans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. I got a score. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the decision to just I keep the extra point winds up successful. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Let's go. Do it now. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Here's the well, giant that. offense now making their way back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He dumps it off to Barkley. <laughs> And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 30. No horror, no horror. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. On first down, Manning. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be stopped right at the oh, morning, man. I need that right Back to now. back, good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Zebra, zebra, zebra. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. And it's second down. He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you described that. Because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back. Sideline to sideline. And he's been fantastic. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis. When he was playing mad. Absolutely. Get that fur. We're not big. But okay, I see you. Get that fur. Corral, but not before getting it inside the 35. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. 
I need a touchdown, man. Back to throw. He'll buy some time. Right touchdown. He's going to let it fly. <laughs> he took a shot on first down. Oh, no. These are the spots. What the heck? It pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Now Thank you, Jane. Throw deep downfield, and he's got his man. Beckham, <laughs> touchdown, Giants. Oh, now Beckham, 33 yards, and the G-men have taken the lead here in the fourth. PAT up and good by Rosas. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages, as a field goal now can only tie it. Rosas now to kick this one away. Last and time, boy, you blow me the fuck up. Hey, you over go. The line. <laughs> Heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. They're only in yeah, you move, the yeah, you play with a skill. A decent amount of time on the clock, so tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where... I pick a ceiling. I pick a ceiling. They worked on these situations they this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Good Dumps throw. it complete to Miller. And he'll be taken down, but oh. not before they work it across midfield. Dang it, man. He got 29 seven, seven, seven. yards that time. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'll use one right here. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And past the 35, Kick. he'll be dropped to you. Too shy of the 30. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. They'll look to throw. No! Man complete over the middle. It's Griffin. That goes for a goal. Oh, man. Very much you got to be kidding me. As they hurry to the line. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? And this is caught. Touchdown. <laughs> oh, bro. And they've taken the lead here in the oh, final shit. minute. How many people watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What well, looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something oh. quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense to make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up in the because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Ew. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's got going to bad. be because from Dang. this distance, you got to be prepared for everything. Hooking laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stand your feet defensively. And tackle Good game, ball. boy. And this one is incomplete. <laughs> Good game. Going into the final play of this game, some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off 
You're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're that was still. A good you're wondering, could it happen? What the hell are they Possibly, doing? Even though we both knew it was a long shot. Look at some stats. Eli. He throws 300 some yards. He throws it. Bruh. Russian. Receiving. Beckham with him. Gotta give it up. Alright guys, be sure to like, subscribe. And yeah, it was a it was a good video. I played one of my own bars. But be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.